Hey everyone, my name is Valentino and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a quick little video telling you guys how to basically increase your chest size. So right now my chest is looking a little, damn it, I knew this was gonna come. Let's see how long this lasts. A few moments later. Right now I'm just getting home from the gym, so my chest is looking a little bit bigger than normal, but basically on a but Okay, let me hurry up. <laughs> but basically I just want to tell you guys what this is never gonna work. So today when I was at the gym, some guy came up to me and inquired about one of the exercises that I was doing. And of course, you know, I told him, let him know what was up, why it's good, and why he should do it. And he was like, you know what, that's, it seems harder than a regular, and I'm like, yeah, that's kind of the point. It's supposed to be harder. And I also gotten a few YouTube comments, definitely on my last video, I specifically got a comment on how I build a bigger chest. So this is for you. I know I've shown you a variety of different chest workouts that I do and that I incorporate into my workout, but I don't think I've ever given basically a detailed summarization of the method of exercising that I use to increase my chest size. So as you can see from this picture right here, actually I'll do it this side. This picture right here, this was taken a while ago, but as you can see, the top of my chest definitely isn't as prominent as it is now, but I didn't have like this upper part up here that actually like, this is actually like <laughs> there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, this is like a, like a whole round situation. Before it kind of was sunken in and I had like a middle chest and I had like a lower chest, but it was just like kind of dipped in. And that's one of the biggest I guess I can back up off my chest now. And honestly, I think that's one of the biggest reasons why I didn't build a bigger chest. Because not that I didn't think upper chest was important, but upper chest is almost the most important if you want to look like you have a bigger chest. Because out of all the different chest exercises, a lot of them like automatically work like the center and like the middle of your chest and your lower chest, you know, doing dips and other things. But you specifically have to target your upper chest. That's what I think I wasn't doing before. I definitely wasn't specifically targeting targeting it other than doing like incline bench or something like that. It's like there's a lot more that like you can do like a dumbbell, hold it here, press up. Of course, you know, the incline bench, but you can also do chest flies going up. You can do the um ooh my shoulders. I'm dying. Um, you can do like with the with the cables, you have to pull out. Because a lot of people they only go with the hands like this, but if you go hands like that, that really, really attacks the upper chest. I wanna say go heavy. A lot of people think you either have to go super, super heavy and only get like four or five reps, or you have to go super light so you can get 12 to 15. But my thing is, I need to go as heavy as possible, but still be able to get at least 12 reps. I like to do four sets of 12 and basically failing like the last couple of reps on each set. Well, maybe not the first one, cause you know, I'm fresh, but almost each set. But honestly, I think that's about it. Um, though, if you incorporate those two things into your workout, um, lifting heavier, but still maintaining higher reps, um, making sure you target your upper chest and don't be afraid to work on your chest multiple times a week. Another thing, I mean, I think people think you'll get too fatigued, but that's the whole point of building muscles is you have to break down your muscle fibers as far as possible for them to recover and build up bigger and stronger. So I do chest at least twice a week. And right now I'm doing two days. So pretty much for all my body parts, I'm doing them twice a day. I usually do the same body part 
the same day. So if I do chest, I did chest today. I'm doing chest again later on tonight. And I do that twice a week. So basically I'm trying to hit each body part twice a week, at least two times a day. I know that might not work out for some of you guys. And if you don't like really care about defining every single part of your body, like I do as a physique competitor, you can attack your chest like three days in a row. Like go heavy, then the next day do like body weight, going light, but a lot, a lot, a lot of reps to make sure you break down that muscle fibers. And then that last day, try to go as heavy as possible again. You'll probably be lighter than that first day, but again, that's the point. You wanna break down your muscle fibers as far as possible, and then they'll regain. But you also have to make sure that you're eating. A lot of people don't eat enough. They think, oh, well, I'm trying to lose weight, so I need to like not eat that much, but it's, more so you need to eat more nine times out of 10. Like I've seen bigger people and they're like, oh, well I'm in the process of burning fat, so I'm just gonna have this meal and it's gonna last me for two days. And I'm like, what? That's not gonna work because you're just gonna start storing more fat because your body's not gonna know when it's gonna get more food, more nutrients. So whenever you do replenish that, it's just gonna hold on to it and store it because it's never gonna know when it's gonna get it again because you're starving it. You really need to have smaller meals every three hours. And I know that's hard for some people and it doesn't have to be like super consistent. Maybe, you know, you can still have your base meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but have them a little bit smaller and make sure to insert like actual snacks. Like a good bowl of oatmeal <laughs> or yogurt. or yogurt or, you know, after lunch, have a good trail mix, a homemade trail mix. It's cheaper that way. Get some banana chips or something, or if you're trying to watch your sodium, you know, there's a bunch of different snacks out there. And if, I mean, it's a winter time, who really needs abs anyway? Bulk, do a dirty bulk. Well, not too dirty, just keep it cute. Try to keep it classy, but just really lift, lift, lift if you're trying to build up that bigger chest. Um, yeah, hopefully this is something that can help you out. Let me know down in the comment section below any other like body parts that you wanna know about of how I train it or what's a good way to build it up, make it bigger, make it better. Um, as always, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I post videos every week and yeah, until next time, bye guys. And y'all, something big is coming. <laughs>